Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial review and swatches of Beauty Creations new Island Girl palette, right? This, first of all, when I saw this on Instagram, I kind of jumped at it like I wanted it, right? I was very interested in it. And then at the same time, I kept thinking, why Island Girl? You know, I kept thinking, isn't that a little, like, I don't know. It sounds kind of weird, right? I didn't really click to me what it was supposed to represent till later on that I realized that it's supposed to be from Moana from Disney you know they they basically do princess inspired type of palettes right so they did the Jasmine I already did a review I think I did a tutorial on that one I'm not sure but I did do swatches of the entire Jasmine palette and let me tell you guys the Spanish speaking subscribers and everyone else who watched that video were not kind to me they hated that look, and I got a lot of hate on that one for that look for that <laughs> video. And I told myself that that would be the last palette from Beauty Creations that I would buy because I figured, you know what? I There's not that many videos of Beauty Creations, especially not in Spanish. So, And these palettes technically get, rele they get released in the United States before the, you know people in Mexico actually get them or other countries. So... Naturally, because I do both languages, they see my video and I get hugely judged for these eye looks that are, you look like a clown. Like, <laughs> I had, a, I think I had at least 13 dislikes on that video. Like, that's like the most dislikes I've ever had in an entire video. And I was like, God dang it. I told my husband, I don't know if I should even bother with it. He goes, but you get a lot of views on those posts. Yeah, I get a lot of views. I also get a huge amount of hate on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I would rather not not touch base with I told them but you know at the end of the day I realized that a lot of my subscribers that watch my Spanish videos they appreciate it so so much so they outweigh that hate <laughs> I do it for them because I realize like okay well they appreciate it and I know it helps them a lot especially when it gets released in Mexico you know they they jump for it they're like oh you know Sarah reviewed it and I really liked it so I'm gonna go for it so that is the slip that I showed you guys earlier. This is the actual palette when you take it out of the slip. It just says Beauty Creation Island Girl. In the back it just see, it says the same thing. It has the net weight 35 grams. One, two, no, 1.23 ounces. Distributed by Beauty Creation. Made in China. Uh, and it has their website. Cruelty free. When you open it up, first of all, I love the actual packaging. Like the design of it. It's pretty. Really, really pretty. You know, it gives me total island vibes. It's Moana. Such a shame they couldn't use just put Moana like that. First palette was called Jasmine, right? By the way, this is them recreating those original palettes because they did have a Jasmine original, but it was way too neutral. Didn't even represent the princess at all. I'm pretty sure somebody either complained a lot or they just decided, you know, to reboot them. They're probably going to be an Aurora one. I wouldn't doubt that for one second. There's going to be an Aurora. There's going to be all the other ones coming, but this is Moana. Moana's. And I'm guessing they couldn't use Moana maybe because it's trademarked. That's my guess. Because they just called it Island Girl. And I just thought, Island Girl, that sounds kind of prejudiced. Not like, <laughs> I don't know why. It did not click. There was like Moana. Oh, okay. <laughs> and these are the tones in here. I have to say, I really like this one. It's a really, really pretty palette because it has a mixture of these neutrals. Then it has these corally pinks right here. Then it has all these greens and blues. That color right there is so beautiful. It's like a dark teal foil type of shimmer. And I'm wearing this glitter today. And that is such a beautiful, beautiful glitter. Like crazy how pretty it is in person. This is just a normal orange, gold, bronze type of, of glitter. And they do have another glitter here that's very pretty. It's like a light blue mixture of, of these... um reflective glitters that give like different types of greens orange it looks like a blue and uh gold type of things in there mixed all in there super pretty both of them these are both like micro glitters tiny size this one's a mixture of chunky and small ones at the same time i would really recommend for any of those glitters if you like that i know there's a lot of you guys that hate glitters I don't recommend this palette if you don't like glitters because there are three glitters in here. But if you can look past the glitters and all the other colors look really, really nice. I had no problems with the shades that I used on my eye today. I personally used, I think, about 
two shimmers, two mattes, and the glitter that you see on there. So five shades, you know? And I had no problems with the ones that I used. I don't know. They were, they were nice to me. <laughs> So I'm going to start this long process of the swatches because you guys know we swatch every single shade. Please be patient with me. I do live swatches on this channel. I just don't swatch them and show you guys all the shades. I literally break them all down to you guys right now. I will know before I do the swatches that every little, not little, not every single one, but some of the pants have these little indentations. So that's a little Hawaiian flower. It looks like Hawaiian flower. This is, um or I want to call it like an exotic flower, not exactly a Hawaiian flower. This has a heart. This has another flower, flower, heart, heart. Okay. Just wanted to note that because right now I'm going to do swatches and it's going to destroy everything. <laughs> so I'm going to start right here in the corner. We're going to go clear across. None of these shades have names, none of them. So we're going to go clear across each entire row until we get to the end of all this palette. Okay. First one is a shimmer and it is this gold peachy type of tone shimmer i'm most likely going to have to use both of my hands it's just it's been my experience with these type of palettes they're huge and they're going to require both of my hands so this is two swatches it's like a gold peachy tone reflex sort of like a duochrome very very pretty in person that is the one that i use for my inner corner highlight next you have a cream shade this is like a i would call it like a nude matte I'm going to add at least two swatches right there. Perfect for a brow bone highlight. I know a lot of you guys like to do cut creases. That's a really pretty shade for that. Then you have this first glitter. And I'm going to put it up here. It's bronze, gold, and yellow sort of glitter. Super chunk. Like, it's reflying glitter, right? It's like those little tiny type of glitters. But so pretty in person. Blinding type of glitter. I'm pretty sure... If I wouldn't have used the one that I used, I mostly would have likely gone for that one. Or if I would have went like a bluish shade, I would definitely would have used that blue glitter. Like without a doubt, I would have used the blue glitter. Next, we have a vanilla type of matte. Super light. Y'all can see it right next to that one that I just put. And you guys can see how light this is. I'm already on three swatches, okay? But it does have pigmentation. I give it that. I'm just, those are the type of shades that I don't use. So technically, I would never use these two at all. <laughs> but to each their own, right? Next, you have a yellow matte. This is super pigmented yellow, you guys. I'm going to add two swatches right here. That's two swatches. Look at it. It didn't really need a lot. <laughs> Next you have this, this is like a mint aquamarine shade, I want to call it. Super, super light. I think it needs to be built up quite a bit. So this is already three swatches right there. God, I love that shade though. I'm betting with a really good primer, you could totally make that pop. And that would look so beautiful on the eye. Oh my God, this next shade, y'all. I want to beat myself up for not using this shade because it's so freaking pretty in the pan. Although like, oh! Oh, why did I use that? Look at that. It is this creamy shimmer. You guys. It is so beautiful. Why didn't I use this? Oh my God. Look at that. Turquoise teal, man. Like, oh, it doesn't get any better than that. That's so beautiful. You all imagine it using that and then maybe some of this. Oh. I'm done, you guys. I'm done. Next row, we have this beautiful coral type of matte. So beautiful. I love that one. Look at that. That's two swatches. Next, we have a brighter type of pink one. This is like a lot brighter than that first one, obviously, but they're like right on the same coral type of family. Just one is more brighter than the other. Both are mattes, too. Next, we have an orange... This is like a peach, I want to call it. Like a yellow peachy kind of color. Matte. It looks super light too as well. Like it has to be built up. Now you have that. This is a shimmer that I used over my entire lid before I put that, you know, glitter on top. So this one is obviously like a very sheer type of shimmer formula. Sort of like a topper. Or like a Super Shock Shadow. That's a perfect way to sum it up. Like a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. And it has all these little tiny micro glitters on top of it. So 
I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's a very pretty color in person when you see it, especially on the eye. Even before I added the glitter, it totally didn't need the glitter. Next you have, uh, this is a really lime green shimmer. I'm going to add another swatch to that, but technically I don't think it needs it. It's very bold. I love that one. This is another glitter right here. This is just blue. And like I said, it has these little tiny reflex in the pan. It looks more blue, but definitely it is just full of these iridescent glitters that give off different types of colors. So it does give off purple and green and blue in it. I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's so freaking cool in person. You guys got to see it because it has like this sheer light blue undertone. And then you have that glitter, that iridescent glitter that sort of gives off different types of colors depending how you move in the light when your eye is going like this, you know. It looks super cool in person. Next we have this very vibrant turquoise blue matte. I'm going to give it three swatches, but I don't really think it needs more than two. Just look at that. Oh, God. Another beautiful shade. In the next row, we have this very neon type of pink coral type of shade. It's very, like, in your face, you guys. No joke. I'm going to add three swatches to it. Look at that. Oh, God. Tell me you guys don't like that shade. That's so pretty. Next, you have a little orange tone moment right here. This is very vibrant orange matte. A little bit of fallout on that one. That's like one swatch right there. You don't need any more. Then we have this matte toned down yellow. I want to call it like a sunflower yellow because that's what it looks like to me. And it is a matte, like I said. Very light. But I actually like that they added that in there. It gives a little variety to the palette. Now this is the one that I used, the glitter that I used, you guys. And like I said, it has chunky octagon glitters in there. And then these tiny little glitters in there. In the pan, it does look pink. But in real life, it has just the glitters are reflective. They're iridescent glitters. So they reflect a different type, you know, different types of tones in there. So as I move my finger, I can see green, I can see purple, blue pink gold and yellow like all those colors mixed into one it is super cool to see in person though if you like glitters that is i'm not gonna push glitter on anyone okay i get it nobody likes it that much you know or a lot of people don't like it that's what i meant to say but i loved it it was pretty <laughs> i'm gonna start to do this hand now next you have this green shimmer I'll put it up here oh no that is so cool look at that it has this little i don't even know how to describe it it's just like this glossy sheen on top that makes it look so buttery i don't know it's it's pretty next you have that foiled turquoise dark turquoise shimmer like god you guys you guys don't understand how bad i wanted to do the greens and the blues but I got so much hate on that one, on that jasmine palette, that I was like, no. But look at this. Just look at that intensity of that green teal shade. Isn't that beautiful? And it has a bunch of little micro glitters in there. At least it looks like it's giving a, a couple of reflex, like these um, lighter type of green shades in there. It looks super cool in person. I'm kind of regretting it. I just added it down here and I had to spray down my um, brush because it does not apply well with a dry brush. So you definitely need to either wet your brush or use your finger, okay? Next we have this very royal blue shimmer, like in your face type of royal blue, like, oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> That's just too much. In the next row, we have another matte pink. There's a lot of like vibrant, bright pinks in here. It's very hard to describe like that first one row down, you have just all these bright pinks and corals in there. Next, we have another, like, this is a neon pink type of matte. Like I said, this is more of a fuchsia type of pink, too, because it does have a hint of purple in there, you can tell. But there's, like, a lot of pink in here. I was kind of thrown off by that, too, when I saw that at first. 
But then as I started using it, I wasn't regretting that it had all those type of shades. And I was like, oh, that's kind of good that it has that, you know? Now we have this brown matte. So perfect for, you know, a transition shade. It doesn't really show up a whole lot on my skin tone. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's like a very rosewood type of um, brown. Because it has like a hint of pink in there. It doesn't look full on brown. Now you have this bronze type of foiled shimmer. Like, oh, the intensity in this, you guys, it looks so cool in person. And it has micro glitters in there. It has gold micro glitters throughout it. I'm hoping I'm going to fit all these ones on my hand, you guys. <laughs> Next, you have a green matte. And this is more of like, a, I want to call it like a sea foam green because it's very lighter green than the next one. So it's very minty green, matte. Next you have a darker green. This is another matte too, but it's just like a very darker version of that one that I just put. And this is one swatch, look at that. Super pretty. Then you have a blue, this is a matte blue. This is like a very pretty ocean blue, I love that. And that is one swatch right there. Yeah, one swatch. That's good, huh? First shade is a fiery orangey red. Like a, f this is reminds me so much of like a, f a fire engine type of red matte. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. And it does have a little bit of patchiness right here, but it's not, it doesn't. I don't think it'll give you any problems. Next, you have another red, orangey type of red, but this is a shimmer, and it does have like a little metallic sheen to it. super pretty next we have this orange type of terracotta brown sort of it looks more like an orange but this is a matte I'm thinking you're gonna have to apply it several times because it looks like it needs it and it needs to be built up some and this is the one that I used as my transition shade you guys so I didn't have to build it up on the eye so much as far as what I did right now on my arm but I'm letting you guys know on the eye it does pick up really really good so I don't think you're gonna be needing to put that much effort into it next you have another like this is an orangey type of brown red almost and I use this one today too it's so pretty you guys it's like a maroon I would definitely call it like a fiery orangey type of shade too and I didn't need to apply it several times either but it's super pretty, look at that. Next, we have this teal, it's like a dark green. Sort of like a teal green. Shows up patchy. I don't know, it does show up a little bit patchy. Not a lot, but a little bit. Next, you have a green matte. This is such a beautiful dark green. I love this one. I'm gonna add like three swatches. Look at that. So pretty. Last. This is the last one. I'm thinking. I was like, oh, God, I made it. I made it. Look at this. Oh, it's like a cobalt dark blue shimmer of my dreams. <laughs> I love these ones. What? Why? Why did you give me just two eyelids? I need like five. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. And those are all the tones, y'all. All the tones of this palette right here. I'm sorry if I take too long, okay? This is how we do it here in this channel. I feel like, you guys, you need this palette. <laughs> no pressure, but you need this palette. It's It's pretty. Look at all these colors for $19. That's not bad. That's less than what ColourPop is, has their fade of hue. Like what is it, fade into hue? $19? Two maybe look patchy? I don't know, the other ones, I didn't really have a lot of problems with the other ones. So it didn't really have this problem where it might be patchy. In my opinion, for my skin tone, I would feel that it might be too ashy looking on my skin tone, but I don't feel like I had enough problems to say, okay, you know what, that would be patchy. No, I don't, I didn't have any problems with patchiness 
with the ones that I personally used on my eye. The ones that look like they might be patchy would be like this one and then maybe this red tone. And everything else it looks fine to me. I mean, the obviously, the ones that I think they would look ashy on me would probably be the lighter tones, like this one, that one, that one. <laughs> but other than that, I think it's a really, really good palette for the price. They just barely took it out, like, what? I barely, they barely, like, made it live last week, I think it was, on Friday or Thursday. I think it was on Thursday. And I barely received it, like, yesterday. That's why I'm doing it today. So you guys probably won't see this palette this review until tomorrow <laughs> and i'm still trying to do the vh and i still have to get some stuff out of the way from my older videos for my double upload sundays i'm thinking that i'm just gonna do two old videos for double uploads because the whole point of that whole double uploads is to get the older reviews out you know that's the whole point of that so i'm gonna let you guys go uh if you guys want to see how i created this look today then just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I went in with this orange matte tone right here. And that is what I'm going to use as my transition shade, okay? So now I took this peachy tone shimmer right here. It is like a peach almost like a pink it's very very pretty it's a foiled shimmer it's very thick type of formula and I'm just gonna take my finger and pat it over my entire lid okay now I'm gonna take this tone right here on the bottom it is like a red um, like a deep, uh, I would call it like a wine red matte. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to take it and put it right here in this corner. I'm going to make like a little, you know, see that little point, like a false wing sort of thing. Bring it all the way down out to here and then down here about halfway, okay? Now I took a pencil brush. This is the Alter Ego, the one that I just did with the Canyon review. This is the pencil brush that was in that collection. And I sprayed it with some setting spray and I applied this dark teal green shimmer. And I basically just took it with the pencil brush and applied it all on my bottom lid, sort of um, blending into that reddish shade that's already there, right? Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do. I think on its own it's still good I just happened to think that it was applying better because without just the brush dry brush it was like flaking off and I felt like it applied better with a wet brush I didn't try my finger personally maybe with a finger it'd be just as good I don't think it, you'd have a problem with a finger just like I said you know if you don't want to dirty your brushes that much I would suggest the finger save a brush use your finger <laughs> so that's what you guys can see me do okay Now the look as it is right now, it's totally fine. It's very pretty already, you know. Even before I add it, I add the inner corner highlight, I feel like it's still very beautiful. But y'all know me, I go for glitter and there's like gl glitter in here. Well, there's like three glitters in here. But there's one in particular that I could not say no to because it was so freaking beautiful. And that's this one right here. It's such a shame. I can't tell you guys names because it's kind of hard to like just... I have to point to it. I have to show you guys it. It does have a mixture of like octagon chunky size glitters and then little tiny micro glitters. But they're all basically reflective type of glitters where they just give off these red... Not red. Pink, green, blue, gold. Just like all kinds of colors just depending how the, you know, the light's hitting you and stuff. But on the eye, it's just so incredibly beautiful it accentuates that peachy shimmer that's already there and it just like everything just all these different colors but as i'm moving my eye i can see purple i can see pink green blue gold just all at the same time it's freaking beautiful 
And like I said, you guys totally don't have to do this part. I understand not everybody likes glitters, but I'm a glitter girl and I just love glitters. So that's what I'm going to do. I highly recommend that if you do this part, please use some glitter primer because even though it sticks pretty good on the eye, it does flake off some. So I have like a tiny bit of glitter everywhere and it's not bad, but I would say if you want that sucker to stay, I highly recommend using any time a glitter primer, okay? I personally use the NYX um, glitter primer one. So you can totally use that if that's more affordable or you can do the Too Faced, whatever you have is perfect for that, okay? Finally, for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I use this one in the corner. It's just a very peachy, um, champagne-y type of shimmer. And I'm just going to take my finger and apply it in the corner like I always do, okay? So that's pretty much for the eye look, you guys. Let me go put some black in my waterline and some mascara, and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up, okay? So this is the finished eye look today, you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. I really like these colors in here. I feel like they gave me enough of obviously my blue tones and stuff that I like, but they also gave me these earthy orangey tones, so I really like it a lot. Let me back you guys out and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. Honestly, I really like this palette. I feel like I like it a lot more than the Jasmine one because when I bought the Jasmine one, it was just like a whole lot of color. I was very overwhelmed. Um, I find that the bigger the palette, the more possibility there is but I am one of those type of people that prefer medium to small palettes because big palettes really intimidate me in that way. And I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, like <laughs> sometimes I don't know why I just get that way where it's just endless possibilities or you sort of get bummed out if the palette is huge and then you end up with all these repeated tones and you're like, what, why do I even have this? Right. I feel in this case, I did kind of feel that way in the beginning when I first opened it. I was like, whoa, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's like a lot of color in here. There's, I love that they gave you those neutral shades in between though, right? It's not full on color because you do have these brown ones and these bronzy shimmer right here. And then you have this side right here. I really wanted to play with this side. But let me tell you guys from my experience with my last uh, Beauty Creations this type of uh, big palette which was the jasmine one i did do blue look in there and i can tell you that people were not polite about it <laughs> so i decided to stay on more of the neutral and maybe play with like the green on the bottom that's a little bit of color it's not full-on color so i'm gonna let you guys go don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time i upload a new video and until next time stay warm stay blessed and stay Magica! Bye, you guys.